Day Tournament. Last year, Nova, they won the regular season conference title, but the tournament champ, a bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. Welcome to New York City on the biggest stage. Fortune's got the hot hand. The deep three. The semifinals are now set. Jean, don't leave him alone. Redante Henry is in the zone. The Providence Friars under Ed Cooley advance to the Big East Tournament Final for the first time since 1994. Live from the Mecca of College Basketball, Madison Square Garden, the Big East Tournament Championship game. Cotton, wow. deep jump shot. What a season he has had. Cotton candy all day. Huge sweet. The Providence Friars are the Big East Tournament Champions. What bubble? There's no bubble. We burst that bubble. Well, Coach Cooley and the Friars were sitting firmly on that bubble heading into the Big East Tournament. There is Coach Cooley, led Providence to their first Big East Tournament title since 94. Some impactful departures. Lots going to be demanded from that man, LaDante Henton, preseason All-Big East second team. Remember, the Friars seeking first back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances since 1989. 1990. 13 of their games last season went to overtime or were decided by five points or less. You could look at that as good news or bad news. They've got a lot of uh, interesting out of conference games as well. Kentucky, Notre Dame. What should the expectations, Jim, be for the Friars this season? Well, here's the thing about it. Expectations are not that you win, that you're going to come back and be as successful. And with a young team that hasn't had success before, that's the hardest thing to deal with is how do you duplicate what you did the previous year? And that's going to be Coach Cooley's main obstacle to get these young men to understand that we don't have a sense of arrival yet. Yes, we won, but they're bigger and better things. And you have the combination, I think, of players that can do it. Double LaDante there, but in Hinton, but I think that's the thing. How do you quell those expectations and understand that we got to continue to get better, right? You know, Batil's an add-on, Lindsay's an add-on, but I think it's all Chris Dung. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. How he plays, and uh, he's great in the open floor. Ed Cooley says he's the quickest kid he's seen going wire to wire. Uh, the half-court set is important. Does he get other people involved? You now, Bryce Cotton was that combo kind of a guard. He's going to have to make great decisions if this team's going to have as good a year as they did last year. And you see the turnout there for opening night house. Wait, I, I still have the visuals. I can still hear the Providence fans at Madison Square Garden surging that team on to their conference title. Great turnout. Yeah, he Providence was right about folks. the bubble, too. I mean, he made sure they were getting in. That's took right. care That's of business. Right. Certainly did. One guy to watch as the season progresses. Former McDonald's All-American Chris Dunn, a guy that you guys mm -hmm. talked about as well. A lot's going to hinge on his health. Doug McDermott off to the NBA. So, Who's the best player in the Big East? Coming up, Raph takes us through his list of the top five, and it is far from a consensus here at the desk. Watch your back, Raph. Who's next in line after Nova? Could it be Georgetown, St. John's, Xavier. Who's going to take a step up to win the conference crown? We'll have the best case and worst case scenarios for those three title contenders next. And a new face on the sidelines at Marquette. How will Wojo adjust to the Big East, and how will the Golden Eagles bounce back after a challenging season?